my goodness, it's <laughs> it's again a few days later. I have so many things that was passing by and two birthdays and including mine and my hubby and even my daughter's. Um, yeah, and so many things that, oh my God, why is everything is in one month? Why? I have no clue, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> It's today, Monday, um, how do you call it, half past two or half past three? I don't know, but it's late in the afternoon, Monday afternoon, and uh, I'm just wanted to be uh, one hour before to make dinner, and um, I did the bottom of this page, this page that we did um, with these little waterfalls, and I did um, already made the bottom piece, so you are seeing right now what I have done. And um, so I made this closure and attached to my first waterfall page. So you can attach, uh, you can plan to put a photo right here and here and here and even on this back. And then I just created a nice leftover page and then this closure right here is the big tag which you can journal on or also put two big pictures on and that is what I attached on this big tag and that is the closure as you can see just put it in and make a knot make not make a knot make a um, make a bow so that is what I'm going to do exactly on top. Um, the only thing that I do know is that my leftover pieces are running out. Um, I only have a few little bits here and there. So I don't think that I can manage this page. But we'll see how far we can get. So first of all, um, we can make the corners. Um, whatever you want to use and um, let's see let's do the corners with a simple corner punch and if you don't want to follow you just can do your thing whatever you want but I am just using it all every little strip I am going to use all right so that is the first thing that I liked to do now i do have two uh, pieces left um i only want to see which one that i cut out from this one i think it was this one this one it was so this one i am going to use for the tag and the other one i already can use to glue it on here did i put it on front yeah i did put it on front so that is where we're going to start. Let's just glue this piece on. Just a little glue will do. Wimes. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to eyeball this a little in the middle. And I like to have this corner in the edge. Just checking if it's in the middle. Just eyeballing it, but I also can make sure that this and i need to make it up a little bit that this is a little in the same height all right and then i just can which one i did use the back of this one does it still fit nicely then yep it does so i'm just gonna add this on all right here with a little brown edge as you can see and then I'm satisfied just a nice little brown edge to be seen okay cool so that is one now with the other part we are just going to grab another piece of paper and do I accomplish with this? I think we are. So I'm just going to make this 
slightly uh -huh. smaller or almost fitting I think almost fitting so I'm just gonna keep it one two millimeters away from the design paper so I'm just gonna make it a slightly smaller um, uh, I even can make it a little bigger. I think I am going to just cut it the same size as your design paper. Let's just try. You always can go. You always can go smaller, guys. Just now, I'm just going to have this the same size as the design paper, and uh, let's check it out. Yeah, I think that's marvelous. All right, now don't fold anything. Um. Let's just add this on. Okay, I'm just gonna see which one. I think it was this one or that one. Yeah, this one it was. This one. Does that matter? Well, a little bit. A little bit. So the shape is exactly the same. Alright. Put this on. I also just gonna eyeball this in the middle. And I forgot something to cut the edges. Makes it nicer. Does makes it nicer. Let's put it back. Just gonna see. That is still fitting. See if I put this right here, and I need to go this direction definitely. Now it's fitting. Nice. This is a little bit awkward, maybe, but and I know that it fits nicely. Okay. Just go with this, and then uh, it's okay. Yep. Let's attach the brown one on here. Okay. Let's attach this one also with a little brown edge. There we go. All right. That's that. I only need to. I'm just gonna make sure that this is right here, and then I just want to make a little mark. So I'm just gonna put this on the right spot, and then I'm just going to make a mark where I want to have. that folding so just fold it and you can cut down everything that's in the way Here we go. Now I did cut this down also a little bit. I even think that's um, that did I? I think I did just cut this one. Yep, I think I did. There we go. And that makes it this shape right here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this inside till the end. And then I'm just going to make my mark. And then I'm going to cut this away. And then, yeah, 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 it should fit. Okay. Let's make some round corners with this one too. 
moment of truth. There you go. There you go. Fits nicely. White in this shape. Cool. Yeah. Alright. So let's decorate this. Um, I did use this, uh, this blue shape because it's the same one as this one. And the rest I decorated with um, just this brown paper that I have. It's this one that I'm going to use for the front and back. Nice smoochy papers. Alright, decorations. Well, let me do this first. And yeah, and what else? What else? I cut down these two ones, half inch, nothing further. And then we are going to do this one. Okay, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, since that is ready, um, now we are going to grab ourselves a very thin piece of paper. And uh, we are going to make this a little bigger than we normally do. So, yeah, you almost can cut this the, the same, but I do like to cut this one millimeter smaller. But not as we normally do for a nice brown edge. So, this because we are going to cut this down at the end, just a little slice. So we have a nice clean cuts. All right, then just choose any tag that you want to use. And I am going to use this one. I am just going to cut this down a little bit. Just to cut this a little tiny bit smaller and then I'm just going to put this down on some brown and also with just a slightly little edge just a slightly you don't need to see that much brown just a little tiny bit now i'm just gonna cut that out and there you have your little tack always make sure that you burn your glue nice flat now this is our piece you don't have much on the side that's okay. I'm just gonna draw the line where you don't need to put design paper on. Because yes, I am gonna use leftover pieces. So I'm just gonna add double sided tape. as I can get to the edges and then I'm just going to fill it up with my leftover pieces now you understand those little edges you can do one color or you can do all the little bits that you have it's all up to you <laughs> it is all up to you now I did little bits on this one as you can see little tiny bits I did and what I like to do is if I do a left brown here I also do a left brown here and then I just go a little symmetric on it so but it's all up to you guys it all it's all up to you whatever you 
like whatever you have planned with this and I, I do get so many comments on people who get the kit that they don't have exactly the same amount of papers left at the end I do know that it's difficult to have exactly the same amount but I do my best to keep sending you enough papers to use all right so it don't know I don't have that much but as you can see right here it's just a little tiny bit I'm just gonna eyeball this and I'm just overlapping a little bit where my um, where my pencil mark ends so even this little piece and I'm just gonna eyeball you don't have to measure you can but it's not particularly needed it's just that little tiny bit see and now this one we can throw away <laughs> yeah just use it use everything you want to use every little bit just use it and so I continuing with using it all um, and I know it can be overwhelming or that it looks crazy in your opinion but, oh my god what is she doing yeah I am do sometimes tween stuff I know even those little little tiny bits why not just use it use it in the meantime for those who want and otherwise you can fast forward me in the meantime I do can talk a little bit on what busy days I had the last few days it was really busy oh my gosh <laughs> so first my hubby had his birthday and well that is not that busy because our family is not big only grandpas grandmas and the daughter-in-laws and those and a few friends that is actually it not that much but it was very cozy I think I even can use one more so and it was only in the evening so that was the first that was last Wednesday and then the Thursday, my daughter was having his tw hers, 21 years old, young, 21 years young. <laughs> God, time flies. <laughs> and um, as she was wanted, she does not, um, well, we celebrate their birthday on one day. So we do not have any visitors that day. But um, she wanted to do something with me that day. Uh, something special, she said. And, oh, yeah, okay. And yeah, and I need to think of that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but when she had her first period, um, I said, now you are a woman and now we can, um, well, not that we could not do that earlier, but <laughs> but I told her um, now you are a woman, so now we are going to England shopping. I just wanted to give you an extra, um, yeah, that extra feeling that she is now grown up. Well when she had her first period. It's not that she is, um, because when a child has the first time of the period, they are definitely not grown ups, but feeling a woman, that I can explain. But now she was getting 21 years old, and I was thinking, well, I wanna do something special too. And I was thinking of that the same day because yeah, the pressure was high. Mom, I want to do something with you today. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what, what, what? What can you do with your daughter? <laughs> um, at that um, t 
time of period. But all right. So what I did was um, I took her to a second-handed store. I don't know the name in English, but um, and she was shocked because she was really. What are we going to do here? <laughs> so I told her, well, if people are getting married, they get something old, something new, something borrowed. And I was telling her, well, in here we are going to search for something that I like you to uh, have all your life, at least I hope in your house that can be a little statue that can be a little vase that can be maybe a nice painting that you want to that you really like to see something something that you can take in every house that you are gonna live in and that you're gonna take with you every time at least i hope that you do and then after that we are going to pick something new a little present to take also with you so something new something old and not something borrowed because that is for uh, when you are getting married or something but i just wanted um something sweet that just so in that second hand store she chose a two very nice books that even was i think nice to read because the storyline is very yeah I, I don't know just my style of stories <laughs> maybe i even gonna borrow those books <laughs> uh, but the look was very cute so she can put that in her own um bookshelf once she is going to live on her own and then in the city she was choosing she is collecting mineral stones and there was a nice egg form a black one it was also not that um expensive so that was cool um So that was the one that she took for, uh, that she picked out for something new. And then we go to a chocolate factory and there we get something sweet. So, and, oh, she loves those ideas. I don't know how I came up with that, but <laughs> I did. <laughs> so, it, yeah, it was very fun. It was a very fun day, that day. So I was very glad that I could give her something special. So once she is moving out my house, she can take that with her. Those things that we bought yesterday. So yeah, so cool. She's very, um, I call that. Um, how you call that? Very, uh, 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 what is the word for that? sentiment for those things she really likes surprises and um those kind of things she always said my mom is my best friend yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i was telling that my mom too <laughs> when i had that age <laughs> well it still is but it's it's different <laughs> but oh, i'm so proud i'm so proud that she say that those things and um yeah it's so cool to have that bond with your daughter so I hope um, later when she, oh, this is too small, Dawn. I hope later when she is moving out that she still have those items, has those items, and that she will take it in her new home. So, yep. That was the Thursday. And Friday, what? Oh yeah, Friday. Oh yeah, Friday we, uh, me and my mom, we went to a craft fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, the first one after Corona. Very cool. 
all right all these little bits i still can use now i'm just going to cut that one millimeter off all the way around with my um, fish cars so i have nice clean edges all the way around um, and I must say the craft fair was, oh my gosh, but busy. Oh my goodness, it was busy. I think all people, all crafters <laughs> were in that, in that building. And I think everybody was thinking, yeah, finally we can go to a craft fair. Yeah, we go, we go, we go. <laughs> but it was nice. It was nice, 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 nice. Especially my mom. My mom bought, again, so many things. And I was mostly looking at things for inspiration and, well, new paper collections, but I did not buy anything. Nope, I did not. Because most of the times it was, I already have that, or that, or that. I don't need anything. I don't want it. I already have so many stuff don't buy it don't diane you don't buy this <laughs> you already have one <laughs> so and and also in two weeks we are going to a german uh craft fair so i just want to save my money for that day um because oh i put that way too far but okay <laughs> because i'm on um, it's, it's german and it's a little bit different than the craft fair i went last friday but the inspiration was succeeded really had a very nice day and i do saw beautiful things passing by that i might considering doing in the near future yay <laughs> so yeah so that was the Friday, and then the Saturday was, oh yeah, we had a big, you know, my son is a professional kickboxer, and um, our gym has also different uh, events in, in one year, and last Saturday, the first one was for this year so and it was busy oh my god you definitely can see that so many people are very happy that they can finally go out so that was see how cute this is oh i love it love this all right i can attach the paper uh, the ribbon right now but I first like to attach two of these pieces and I only have these left and I definitely think that's not enough to put this one on the back what I did with the leftover pieces but I do can cut out the paper for that so I know I still need to decorate this with leftover pieces go test 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 it out <laughs> yep and I'm just gonna put on a waterfall so I know I need to decorate that with my leftover pieces pretty soon because I definitely gonna have more leftover pieces I'm gonna cut down a half inch strip for this one And this I can use to add on these two. Yes. All right. Just cut this down. There you go. Cutting another one. And again, we have a nice strip. Um, for those who have a difficulty to uh, cut the corner just put this on a piece of paper that you don't need and you did well mm. and then just cut the corner it's so much easier here put 
this in the other corner just like that there you go can you do another one without the corners I think so just lay this in the corner and the bottom piece will do the rest there you go matches the lines there you go it makes it easier to keep another piece of paper along with it. Alright, and the Sunday, real quick, um, my son gave us three, because we are very close having all our birthdays, um, he take us out for dinner. So that was our birthday gift, so that we had last night. Oh my gosh. So nice and cozy. So my family and his girlfriend. So it was, oh my gosh, I really love this moment. So I always tell my kids, I don't want an, an, an expensive gift or, yeah, if I do say I don't want anything for my birthday, then I would definitely be a liar because everybody likes to get something. But I always say even it's a color painting that you put effort for. I always like that even better than an expensive gift for just buying in the store. And taking us out for dinner, I really like that. So it's, it's yeah, those are the special moments. Being together with your family. Yep, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting sentimental sentiment here. <laughs> well, anyway, so that is done. Uh, so yeah, in the inside you can put your photos in and here we are going to decorate that with our leftover pieces and now the only thing is the ribbon and how large did I use this one? I don't think it's that large. How large is this? How much do you need? Well you can, well this is 10. Let's call it a 10. I think that's enough. And then I still have something left, so let's do this. What's this? A 10 and a half. All right, that should do it. But you also just can make it larger and just save the rest. Um, so just push this through and then make a little not right here just gonna go around it just one more time here we go there you go that's one let's do the other one as it can be all right and then just one more time there you go there you go I grabbed the longest one instead of the the short one that I just cut. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I still can cut it shorter and then I still can use it. All right. Make a little bow. As little or as big as you want. And then you just can cut this down. 
There you go. I don't know if this ribbon does this, but I'm just gonna go very gentle. Do this very gentle, just a little tiny bit. Also on this end. Watch your fingers. Watch it. Don't wanna that you will say to me, now I burn myself. Just a tiny little bit. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you think? What do you think? Small little bow. Here's the closure. So cute. So cute. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that that is the only thing that I still miss right here at the bottom. But what do you think? I really like it. And this is the protecting piece. Yeah, I think this is cool. Nice little waterfall and a big note card. Well, you still can add your pictures on, but you also can make this a nice, big, um, writable tag. All right. Cool. All right, see you at the back. I will see you at the back soon. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Okay, let's see what we can do on the back. All right, so the back of this page, um, there is already a hinge on it, which we are going to use. But let me first do something on this side. Um, I made a mark in the middle, so just grab your ruler and make your mark in the middle. Then just measure that, and mine is 14 and a half in centimeters. And I am terrible in inches, not that terrible, but yeah. It's a 5, 11, 16. All right. Um, so for those who does not are familiar with inches, then I definitely recommend that you choose the 14 and a half centimeters. But you also can make a mark, guys. You don't need to. So if I put my mark on here, that's actually all that I need to know. All right. So first, I'm just going to grab a new page. And I am going to score half inch, uh, one inch, score one inch, because I definitely want to make a extra um, space in between. And now I'm just going to grab my pencil mark and I'm going to put my paper along my pencil mark right here and then I'm just going to make my mark here. Then you always are perfect. All right, let's cut that out. So I have one on this side. Always check. Yep, and then I also can do that for on the other side. I'm just gonna do exactly the same. So I do see my mark. I still see my mark. Just put it against it, and then just make. A mark on the other side, cut it down, and then you have two perfect measured pieces. You can, oh, trash time, trash back, not perfectly, so I throw it on the floor. So you just can check it out, and if you are cool, then I do have that little millimeter space in between. All right, now these two we are gonna work on. Next, next, what I like to do is a pocket. I'm gonna make a pocket on here that is four and a half. So let's check if I have this. This is enough. So first, I am just going to make a half inch for the bottom. And well, I do can score the side already half inch. Then I'm just going to fold this over and then I'm going to cut my piece at four and a half. That's the pocket that I want. Here we go. Now I'm just going to fold this 
sides. Let me just work first on one page. And then I'm just going to put this on like we always do and make a mark and let's score and cut the other one. That is that. What I like to do is use my double-sided tape to go around this. Here we go. Cut the corners. Saves you both. pocket is going to be on here so I am just gonna peel off the bottom put that at the bottom you want to be nice and straight and so it looks nice there we go. if you like you can use your tape to seal down this bottom hinge your pockets. Now this looks ugly. Well, boring in my opinion. So what I like to do is let's make, normally we do a nice uh, incision for the pocket, but this time I like to have the background nice. So let's see how we can do that. Flip this around. Now if you put your template on here and you will have see these corners and you can see eyeball this a little bit straight now I'm just gonna move this up till I have so I don't see the pocket and, and then I'm just gonna move this also up I guess because I want this the full side of this but then how do I know if it's straight that's a good let's see how we can approve that let's see if I'm gonna make a mark just a little tiny mark half inch let's see if we can do that then because I do want to have it straight I want to have it straight, of course. Okay, bring this back on till the edge right here. Oh yeah, this is very helpful because now I can see this edge and this edge and if this is equal, then it must be straight, isn't it? I think it is. All right, so I have my mark, half inch, half inch. So I can see now that if this is equal and this, then it should be <laughs> equal. Let's find out. Let's redraw this template. Perfect. Yeah, so my half inch mark definitely helped me to make this nice and straight. See, I am equal aware of this piece right here. 
All right. Yeah, that helped a lot. All right, so here we're going to make just a simple pocket, but with a nice background. Now, before I am continuing, I do like a piece of paper before I'm going to cut this out. So it's equal B cut. That makes sense. But you also can just cut this first and then put it on your design paper and then recut it. That's also a good thing to do. But let's say I want to do it right now. I'm going to grab my new set. Well, you know, the sets, the three pages sets that I was making. Oh, this would be nice for the pockets. So I'm just going to see which, oh, this one we did not use that much. That would be awesome. I think I like this one for this one. A lot of blue. This one is actually also very pretty for the back. Alright. I want this one. Now for this, this front piece, I don't need a full one. But for the back, maybe I want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut a full length. And also we need to consider, because this is going to be this way, do I want my design paper this direction or this direction? Okay, I think I want it this direction. So you will be seeing the horses as this. Then I need to cut it this way, direction. All right, let's do that. So small, a little bit smaller. Yep, and we can use the back too. So. Let's cut this. So only one little mark is needed for this. Alright, so I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to use a full one and then I can use the back. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Okay, so I am cutting my first one fully, so this would fit. I cut it pretty small, but I always can adjust that. And then for the back, for the front actually, I'm just going to use this piece. And I'm going to leave it on. So, of course not leave it on, otherwise I can cut it. But as the paper are going to be glued down and that is this direction and this I want also this direction all right so I need to know right now which I want to see so if I have my page on my left side I want to see my horses straight and if I turn this I want to see my horses also straight so this is how I'm gonna glue it down now this one I also gonna cut right away, so I'm just gonna put this on the back. All right, so this is still front back. All right, now put everything in a nice order. This one you can keep it straight. And then the only thing that I need to take care, well, it's pretty much the same size, so I just can't clump this all together. Maybe even the lower one is maybe better. Yes, and now I'm just gonna cut this out. I'm just gonna try to cut on the mark. Or just a little under, so you cut off the mark. Totally up to you. There we go. 
go. Yes, don't throw these away. I still can use these for covering up that back, that back ground. Alright, and now we just can remove this and this one we just can cut it down just a little bit. Just gonna make a mark. Just one half in half inch goes in. I don't need to go all the way in. Where is the mark? Here it is. Here we go. Cut that one down, 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 down. Okay, just gonna put this on. Um, wait just a minute because this needs to go inwards. So maybe, yep. Need to cut down just a fraction because otherwise it does not fit. Yes, look at that! How cool this is! All right, there we go. Put this in. Look how beautiful. And we still can put a nice big photo in here. Alright, and then I'm just going to turn this over. I'm going to place this one on the right spot. And I, it is almost perfect, but I, I like I said, I just, I, this can be just a fraction. Just a little tiny, tiny little bit on each side because I do like to see a nice brown edge. So that is the only thing that I adjust. Yeah, this is what I like to see. I want to see my brown edge. And I am far enough away from the fold line, so yes! So this, we can glue this on right here if you just want to have a nice um, picture frame and if you want to have an extra pocket, maybe a nice incision, then you just can make an incision or maybe one here so you still can add a picture on here. So that's totally up to you. Maybe you want to make an incision right here so you still can put something in here and still have a nice picture so that's totally up to you so I will wait for just a second because I'm not sure what I want with this page I do love to make those small incisions and we still have so much of these little notes so where do you want that note well I think this square one is perfect for picture so I think I like to make an incision right here that is the size that fits this card in so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put my card right here so this is definitely the end where I want to have this pocket so and then I think I'm just gonna like have this in the middle of here and I want to make this a little bigger of course otherwise it does not fit so I'm just gonna make a mark right here so that is a little bit in the middle and then I'm just gonna make that straight what do you think? yeah I like that I like that a lot actually. So 
if I want to use this for just a second. What if I'm going to use this? And this is also very handy. So I'm just going to put this right here and that mark is right there. I don't know if you, yeah, I, I am a frame, but I don't know if you can see that. But I'm just going to eyeball that a little. And I am just going to make, for now, a fold line. But that is perfect to make this nice and straight. And yeah, and I also can use this as my cutting guide. There you go. It is that simple. And then we have a nice, yes. But of course I wanna make, I wanna make that with just a simple piece of paper. Let's say half inch is big enough. Now I see how far this is getting. Let's make this nice. Yeah, yeah, yes. Let's cut what I already cut. Ooh. Wait just a second. Otherwise, I don't see it. That's better. Otherwise, I don't see it. <laughs> See the struggles? Yeah, I don't know why I did that first incision. So much better if you just cut on here. But I just wanted to try it out with a two-in-one scoring board and cutting. It is sometimes so handy. But I was totally forgot that I want to have this brown edge on it. Yeah, this is so much better. All right, so now I have a nice incision where this card fits in perfect, as you can see. Yeah, and then I still have enough place for adding a photo. Yeah, cool. Now I'm just gonna add it on. And if you're gonna add something like this on, then you can put your glue on top above and then put glue right here and I don't it's not necessary that you make this deeper so I'm just gonna see how deep this pocket can be it's easier Otherwise, oh, maybe you can lose it when it's on, when it's in. If that makes sense to you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know.
it is not necessary, but I like that. Put this on. On some cardstock. And I even can make this for a booklet if I want. First time is always a little tight, but that will be better once it's used. And see now, it stops because I put glue on here, and that is what I like. And otherwise, you it will be underneath, and now it stops where I put the glue on. So that is why I measured a little bit where I could I could the glue under here. So that is yes. Cool, what do you think? Yep, and of course we need to decorate this pocket right here. But so far, so cool. I like it. Alright, so um yeah. Let's continuing. Shall we first decorate this and then well this one is exactly the same. And so yeah, we're gonna make two. And of course with other paper, otherwise it's boring, but this one is ready and out of the decorations. But we also can just use the leftover of this and then other pages. You don't want to make the other one with this one, with this, um, this blue one. But we shall see. We shall see. I definitely like to use this image. Oh. Look at this, so adorable on one pocket or something. Oh, amazing. Anyways, so you got to, um, I'm just gonna wait. I don't know exactly what I want with the pocket, but I'm gonna make exactly the same, the other one. And um, yeah, so four and a half is my pocket. And what size my, um, paper is it's actually not that um, big deal because for now my um, my um, my papers were fitting perfectly if I uh, made that one inch hinge my papers fits perfectly if I stay away two millimeters but if you have other papers then just score a one inch and then just measure and keep away two millimeters away from this edge and then you can make exactly the same pocket so you don't need any measurements so just measure what you have all right so no measurements is needed by accident my a4 pages are fitting perfectly but i know my a4 pages are not the same measurements as yours in maybe in the usa or somewhere but my european a4 fits perfectly if i score uh, one inch all right okay cool i'm gonna make the other one and i'll be back in just a second <laughs> 